Alright, hey guys, what is up? It's me, Link Wyland, and welcome back to another Cooking with Link. So, today we've got my friend Charles here. Howdy. I've known him for quite a bit. We, uh, he was the first person I made some sort of concoction with, uh, cooking, as to say. We, uh, mixed, what was it? It was cream soda, Mountain Dew, and Coca-Cola. To make the, uh, Nuka-Cola? Was it a Nuka-Cola mixture? Yeah, it was a Nuka-Cola mixture. It was something we found online, and, uh, it was a while back. Anyways, it, during that, uh, I always wanted to make an actual, you know, Nuka-Cola quantum or something like that. Some sort of concoction of Nuka-Cola and what we've done Nuka-Cola before, so you know what the next one in that step is. Nuka-Cola quantum. So I'm gonna step in here for past me because he didn't know what he was talking about and he messed up the section. Essentially, we're making Nuka-Cola quantum and we're gonna start that right now. So, to start we need one cup water. Two cups sugar, the zest and juice of one lemon and one lime, two tablespoons fruit punch, two tablespoons pomegranate juice, one teaspoon citric acid, and five drops of neon blue food dye. To make the Nuka Cola Quantum Syrup, first we need to start out with a medium saucepan, and in that saucepan we would need to combine water, sugar, lime zest, lemon zest, fruit punch, and pomegranate juice. I want to add in quickly that we did mess up here and we added in the lemon and lime juice as well. My apologies. Um, it still turned out fine. And then we want to put it on medium high heat on the stove and whisk until the sugar has completely dissolved. Then we want to bring it to a boil and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Now since it is done simmering, we are to remove it from the heat and strain it into an airtight container. And then this is where we are supposed to add in the lime and lemon juice, then mix in the citric acid. After the citric acid, add the food dye. Then mix it all together. After being mixed, it is to sit and let cool for about 30 minutes. After cooling, you are to set it in the refrigerator for about 12 hours to almost two weeks. So we will see you when it is done. Two weeks later. After waiting your desired amount of time, pull the syrup out of the refrigerator and double check that it is a syrupy consistency. If it meets your expectations, then it probably turned out correct. If not, well, good luck. For the next step, you're gonna need a cup. Luckily, we have one right here. In this cup, you are going to add one cup of seltzer water, a few ice cubes, we added about six, nine tablespoons of Nuka-Cola Quantum Syrup, and then stir it together. We decided that we wanted to move everything over to a Nuka-Cola cup. Um, we have a Nuka-Cola cup just sitting around, and, uh, well, it didn't go too well. It's gonna go horrible. Anyone want some? So, when you plan to do this, just put it into some sort of measuring cup first, and then pour it in like we did for our second attempt. Filling this all the way up, though, it looks kind of great. We also tested it in the dark. It actually looked quite cool. Now, since we are finally done with this portion of this, we will see you in the testing phase. Nuka-Cola Quantum, everyone. So, after it's finally been done, um, it hasn't been two weeks, thank you, narrator, but uh, it's been about four hours since we originally started this three or four. Oh, it's leaking. Whoop. Um... And, uh, yeah, we decided that we were going to pull it out a little bit earlier because it would have taken too long and everybody's busy over the next few days or so, and that's not on at all. So, we're trying it now. So, again, it's been about four hours. It has already, uh, the, the syrup has turned into, like, a syrupy, it's a, it's a condensed syrupy consistency. Um, and it worked out really well. As you can see, this looks really good. Also, nice to peep the quantum label. Isn't it great? <laughs> Anyways, it's time for us to test this, so what we're going to do is we're going to test it and then we're going to tell you guys how we feel about it, and I'm hoping that it's really good because it looks good. It looks really great. So, 
Who wants to go first? Well, you're the creator of the video. Should we do it? Okay, I guess she got a point. Okay, first I felt this way too much. <laughs> Can you uh, set that over there? All right, first sip of Nuka-Cola Quantum. Your turn. It's not bad. So I'll go first. Um, so it's not bad. It actually is surprising. It's not bad at all. The only thing I think that these people, I don't know, it might have been us again. Everything that happened here, I, I want to uh, to reiterate that we. I, I'm not a cook. He, he's more of a cook than I am. I bake. Um, <laughs> so I don't know much about whole like drinks and stuff like that. Um, but I really do feel like they, they, the, 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 the zest and everything, I mean, it, it, it seems to add a bit, but for some reason, I, I got this, like, it's like a, did you, did you taste that? It's like a weird, weird, I don't, I don't even know, maybe it's a pomegranate. It's got a really strong citrus flavor to it. Yeah, but there's something else in there that kind of, like, punches you when you're drinking it. It kind of tastes a little bit, like, it, I don't know, it's got, like, a rotten-esque taste to me. I think it's probably the pomegranate that's a little bitter. Yeah, it's it's yeah, okay, a bitter, yeah, it's a better, better way to put it. It's like a bitter here I'm trying to get yeah, it's it's like a bitter taste in the back of it that's not really that good. Um, but it's not bad at all. Surprisingly, this one's better than the Nuka Cola that we made, but we did really mess up on that. We actually did the same exact mistake that we did here, but just a little bit worse, I believe. Um, we messed up the uh, the zest and everything. But all in all, uh, in my opinion, it's it's actually pretty good. It's got like a, a, a fruity taste to it. It's it's more of a pop taste than the other one. It doesn't have like a tea taste. Um, and it's it's actually it's good. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. I'd drink this. I actually I would drink this. Um, and uh, yeah, do your 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 thoughts. I'm going to try it. It's got like that sweet and sour taste to it. Yeah, I would, I would compare it to sweet and sour. It's got like that that tangy like you know just mm -hmm. again the citrusy and then it, the bitter esque taste. Uh, all around it's pretty good. It's got a nice punch to it. I think is a good way to put it. It's got a very broad flavor. Yeah, it's it's not something you'd find often like in in stores or something like that. If if they release something like this, I'm really curious in what demographic it would. Uh, it would fit to like you know would Americans like it more you know would uh, you know other cultures I think it's all it's also rather sweet so yeah. I think it's very it definitely is that better American than what you find in the store? yeah okay yeah, no, I would say it's American I wish that you know they would uh, when it comes to these things so one thing that I want to say quickly about the uh, the recipes in the fallout recipe book whoever made them does not know what like I mean maybe okay Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna take in consideration that maybe where they're from they can get all this stuff like it's nothing, but in our area the stuff in this book is exceptionally hard to find. <laughs> like uh, for the Nuka Cola video, it took us three to four different stores to get everything that we needed, and it was expensive. Um, and they say it was an easy uh, an easy to make one, which kind of scares me because I'm afraid to see what's next. Um, and this one itself took us it was cost at least 20, 20 U.S. dollars in our area. You know it's plus tax and everything to make just the batch that you saw. That was just the ingredients that you saw. That was that was all that, and it was impossible to find citric acid anywhere because our stores just don't carry them for some reason. But then again, you also have a large amount of all the ingredients besides the lemon and lime there, yeah. so you could make several batches. Yeah, the lemon and limes are the probably the only thing that, you know, maybe, maybe you know, if we did half of that. I wonder if we did half of the pomegranate, you know, for like, maybe if we did it again. If we did half the pomegranate, and then everything else the same. If we get that bitter taste in there, or if it would just be like a little bit more of a fruity taste. What were you gonna say? Huh? You were gonna say something? What else? Wasn't the citric acid like tingling? Citric acid, oh yeah, the citric acid was what? So that would have made it like $30 oh, just to make this? Wow, citric acid though, I bought a pound of it. Don't buy a pound of it. Just You can go on Amazon and buy it for like six bucks, like for a few ounces, maybe. I think it was like 12, six, eight ounces, something like that of it. Uh, it's not worth spending $10. <laughs> Unless you're really going to be like me and just eat it out of the bag because you're dumb. <laughs> Anyone have any uh, following thoughts or anything? Not off the top of my head, no. 
All right, so our next uh, recipe, I don't know exactly what that's going to be, but I do plan on bringing another book into here. I don't know what book I'm going to do, but it's mainly going to be, um, I think, actually, no, I do. Uh, Destiny 2, if you guys have heard of their book that came out, apparently it's by around, I think, I'm going to assume it's by the same people that made the books for Fallout and uh, uh, Skyrim as well. I believe Skyrim does has a book. Does has a book? Yeah, it does has a book. Um... And I want to start from there as well. So you're going to see a few different books. We're I, I want to I want to dedicate the Cooking with Link series to specifically Cooking from Game series. But there will be a few other things here and there. So I want to thank both of you guys, my camera person here who helps out in the background, make sure that I don't fuck everything up whenever I'm doing something wrong, and my good friend here who's going to hopefully appear in a few other videos. I just got to get the money <laughs> to. Uh, to, to fund these because it's a little expensive uh, and it's it's only it can only be done every other few months or something like that we'd like to interrupt this broadcast with the following shenanigans so you guys remember how i got citric acid right we had to get citric acid for this well this is the first time i've ever owned citric acid ever in my life um and i got a pound of it and we only needed what like one tablespoon one teaspoon. teaspoon so there's a lot left over you know what that calls for i think that's enough what do you think everyone <laughs> That calls for testing of citric acid. Actually, you know, actually, yeah. Braver yeah. than I. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not gonna, I, I, I know that this is gonna hurt like shit, so. <laughs> get, so just get, get as much as you think you can handle. That's good, that's fine. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> a bad idea. <laughs> it's like having a lemon kick you in the teeth like a monster. <laughs> well, that was awful. <laughs> that was disgusting. That was the best thing ever. <laughs> oh. That still hit me. <laughs> I go with 10 out of 10. It's sour. Don't do this at home. Oh. Citric acid, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for joining me in the first time. Is this your guys' first time trying citric acid? Yep. What do you guys think? Sour. It's definitely worse than eating a whole lemon. Uh huh. You're telling me I've never experienced something like that in my life. Why do we not have citric? Oh wait, never mind. I'm feeling it. I said, why don't we have citric acid candy? Then my tongue started like burning. We do. Burns. They're called the warheads. Those are not, they're, they're, nothing lives up to what I just ate. Well, that's just pure citric acid, whereas they're made of, like, a smaller amount. So, yeah, citric acid, thanks for joining us for that. That was a time. Don't do this at home. Have, have a good one. We'll see you guys yeah, in the next idea. portion of the video. Bye. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this, please like and subscribe. It tells YouTube's algorithm to spread my video around, and that would really help us out in getting, making more of these. And if you guys have any more recipes or other games that you'd like to see me make, like, other different foods from, please comment it down in the description. And any games or anything else that you guys want to see me play, again, comment it down in the, dis the comments. comment section. In the comment section, not in the description. Thank you guys, though, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next group of video. Link out. Peace. My, my guest. <laughs> <laughs>